history books. News 12's Carolyn Gussoff reports that the last 747 was, fittingly, also Pan Am's first. You'd think they were saying goodbye to an old friend, but for many, that's exactly what this airplane is. It was the first commercial 747 to come off Boeing's assembly line, and it's Pan American Airlines' last 747 flight. That's why it's near and dear to so many. Everybody here put a lot of sweat into this airplane, and to come to an end like this, it's hard, very hard. This is what it was all about, getting it into the air and keeping it going, and making a name for Pan American and taking people wherever they wanted to go and the safety factor involved and this airplane seen better days and so did the company and now this is the end and you know it's it's just like breaking up a marriage after 50 years it's not an easy thing to let go of. Former Pan Am workers and the few who still work for the bankrupt airline came to bid farewell to not only their first 747 but also an era. It was an era that began in 1970 when Pan Am's legendary founder, Juan Tripp, gave Boeing its first contract for 747s. Pan Am employees will tell you that was the beginning of truly modern aviation. Between him and the person who was in charge, Mel Allen, who was in charge of Boeing at the time, this is pretty much how everything started, all the aviation we have today, all started from this. Those were Pan Am's glory days, but an oil embargo, deregulation, and a recession crippled the airline. Pan Am filed for bankruptcy last year and was grounded in December. For workers who had been with the airline for more than 30 years, this was a fitting tribute to not only an airplane that circled the globe 1,800 times, but to the Pan American family. My husband was 36 with the company. We met on the airplane. Uh, our son became a, became a pilot with Pan Am, and he met his wife on the airplane. So it's, it's that time. She's headed to Southern California, where she may fly again, perhaps as a freighter. But this is the last 747 you'll see with Pan Am's name on it. At Kennedy Airport, Carolyn Gus.